Okay, so if you're just joining us, thank you. Great to have you guys here. Now we're back on an empty grid. This first one is actually relatively easy. It is detaching and returning an object on player exit. So thank you for requesting that. And so the way this is going to work is we need to make an attachable object. Now people have been asking me for attachable legs. Okay, you guys, here are your really horrendous legs. I apologize. Give me two seconds to make some horrible shoes. There we go. And then put a foot coming out of those shoes right there. There we go. Go ahead and slide that to there. And this is so bad. Who asked for this? <laughs> there we go. Okay. And select and duplicate. And these kind of looking a little funky. So we'll just scale them together in. Nice. And we know that this person is going to wear brown shoes. And you know, one of my favorite types of pants that I just don't think is worn enough is khakis. Oh no, that looks like skin. That still looks like skin. Okay, we're going with blue jeans. I take it back. I don't like khakis anymore. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Oh man. Okay. So there we go. There are our legs, meta legs. They're twigs. I'm sorry. They are what they are. They're good enough. We're not going to make them move at this point, but there you have your legs. We'll go ahead and group those together. Now, the thing that's missing from this is an invisible top. And so this here is the part that gets grouped. This is the part that you grab onto to put it in your body. So we make it non-visible. We do make it collidable. And then if I open up the properties panel of this group, we can now select this and zoom in and then let go and then zoom out. And so now we have a pair of legs. I'll then come down to this person here and make sure it's scaled well to fit with that person. There we go. And now I'm gonna set them right here and then stand on top of them, see how they feel. All right. Oh, they're, they're collidable, of course, so I can't actually, but I feel like that's about right. Like, okay. There we go. Yeah, that's that's the right height. Okay, so we got our uh, jeans here and we're going to open up the properties panel and then we're going to make these attachable. So we need to make them interactive, grabbable, go to more tab, make them avatar attachable. We'll do anchor. So if you're looking to make legs that stick on, you wanna make sure that they anchor onto the torso and the anchor position. We're gonna start with zero, 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 see where it is and then slightly adjust it. So if I come in here and grab these, put them on my chest. They're a little off. <laughs> this feels really weird. Uh, that is not how legs go. <laughs> I don't have to think about this, <laughs> please, no. Okay, so let's see that again. Okay, so the legs need to rotate like that. So down, let's see if I can get this right. So we're gonna stop the world for a second, stop, and then open up properties panel, zoom in. So they needed to rotate this way and then 180 that way. I think that's done it. Now let's rotate that back up. Grab my legs, put them in my chest. Hey, I'm getting thrown around the world, but they do work. The collidableness of them is not very good. I think this is a bug I've seen with this. I've seen this a bug for actually a really long time, if it's what I'm thinking it is. So what I believe will fix this, if you ever have this happen, is you just duplicate a copy and then the new copy is fixed and will not cause, yep, so there we go. So now what we can see is that this is a little too high. I know you can't actually see it, but there you go. You can see that is a little too high. Okay, so we need to move this down. And so once you've determined that, we'll go ahead and delete this one, select this one, open up the properties of this guy. So to move it down, we go to our more tab and under avatar attachable, we need to move it down by 0.2. So minus 0.2 should do the trick. Minus 0.2. Okay, grab it again. Where'd it go? Now it needs to come a little bit further forward. So we need to move forward. And we'll note that an easy way to move this forward is either in there. So back here on the more tab, we'll go down and to go forward, we know that Z plus is this way. So X, Y, Z. So we need to go along the Z. So we're going to do minus 0 0.2, no 0 0.1 maybe. I think it might be the wrong direction too. We'll find out and put that in the chest. I think that went backwards. Yeah. So we need to do positive one. So more tab backspace, enter, and try it again. There we go. That is almost perfect. It is still having the collision issue. So we're gonna have to fix that. It needs to go down. Oh, down and back a little bit. Okay. What we need to do to fix the collision issue again is select, duplicate, delete, open. So we said down a little bit further and move this back. So we'll go zero five rather than 0.1. I said back zero five. That's weird. Oh, there it goes. Okay. And then we want to go down by another 0 0.05 as well. And that might be the thing that we needed. Okay, <clears throat> there we go. Put that on my chest. Looks good. We'll try it with a camera. Nice. That's 
Good enough for me. Look at those legs. I mean, it could go back further. There's definitely more ways you can adjust that and get it just right. But there you go. You got legs. Are you happy now? Internet, are you happy? I'm not. I really don't like them. I like my ring. This was $100. I got it at the thrift store. Couldn't believe it. Oh, man. So, yeah, there we go. That's, that's our legs. And now the problem is, what if somebody leaves the world with our legs? Hence, we're making this video. So we go into our build panel, go into our gizmos tab, pull out a script. And what we want to have happen is get these legs back to their original position when the player leaves the world. Now, I'm not gonna go over all the ways to create an origin position. I mean, I'm gonna show it, but it's gonna be really fast. If you wanna see the position video, check it out. We just made it, it's really good. Origin position, I'm pointing up here because in the future it will be, but not in this one. <laughs> okay, so this is gonna be called legs. Okay, when world is started, we're going to create a new vector called origin position confirm and then we set that on world start to be the and then we'll need a rotation as well call this origin rot and then we will set that on world start as well do and then we need to go to operators object position of object rotation of object and then we need ta -da, position of self rotation of self okay so now when world is started we've saved the origin position to be the position of self the the origin rotation to be the rotation of self. And then we know that when the player relieves the world, we want it to go back to this position. So we say down here under our events tab, when player exits the world. But this also happens on a couple other instances. So when the player lets go, so it says when object is released by player is another time we want this to happen. And then what we need to do is create another event. So when event is received, we're gonna drop down. And if you've already followed our other tutorial, you might already have this, which is the return event. And so when return is received, what we do is move to and rotate to with instant motion. So moving self to the origin position and origin rotation. There we go. And so when the object is released by player, we want to do this. So we say send event to self return. And then when the world is exited by player, we're gonna do this, but only if it's our player. So we say if, and then we'll drag this indent it. Notice the uh, white bar there needs to be indented. So we're gonna say if, and then what's the condition? If you scroll to the top of your operators tab, under logic, we have this equals symbol. And so what we wanna say is when the world is exited by the player, if that player that's exited the world equals, and under our actions tab, we have owner of. And so you'll find that under player, owner of object, and the owner of self. So when a player Player grabs the pants, they become the owner of that object. And so if that person then leaves the world while wearing the pants, we want to then return those pants back to the original position. And we also want to detach them just in case it doesn't detach fast enough. We're going to go to detach object. It's at the top of our actions tab. So we'll detach self and then send return to self. Pretty cool. All right, we are done with the leg script. So we'll go back over here to our legs, open up the properties panel, do do do, and drop down and select legs. There we go. Now we'll come back in here, select our legs. And then when I let go, they return back to the original position. When I put them in my chest, they're on. And then when I exit the world by going into build mode, you'll see that they return back to the original position. Easy peasy. <laughs> Hopefully that helped. If you have any more questions about that, please leave them in the comments. And thank you so much for asking. I'm super excited to have shown you that. So thank you. Thank you.